This is a long-awaited YouTube video that I've been procrastinating for like seven years to do. So <laughs> it's gonna be like a get ready with me, whatever. Just going out, pop on my bussy. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is put in my contacts. So I have my contacts in. So um, first thing I'm gonna do, so half my eyebrows are shaving off. So what I do is I fill them. So the trick is you can kind of like fuck up on the brows when you draw them on first because you can just correct it with concealer after. So I first start off with like my little tails that I don't have anymore. Then you have to like do the very bottom here to find that line that's really gonna help if you don't define that line it can get messy real quick and then draw my other tail honestly they're not equal at all ever since I got this phone I realized how unequal my how unproportionate my face is because it does that weird thing when you take pictures and it flips it like as if that's how people really see you as and it just honestly has triggered me so much okay they're not really equal like the arches aren't the same but whatever okay um so i'm using anastasia beverly hills um concealer palette in light and i'm gonna be using fair Oh my god, my, my cracked rib. Okay, this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. Okay, and I didn't put it on my nose because you guys are all gonna yell at me. You're all gonna be very disappointed with me. What I show you when I put on my nose, so it's Milk of Magnesia. It's the only thing that makes my nose not oily. I've tried so many other things. I've tried like this like really expensive primer from Becca. Nope, didn't work, so. I know you guys are all gonna hate me, judge me, read me to filth, scalp me bald, but it's the only thing that, I, that really works. And I only use it on my nose, so it's not that bad. Y'all gonna drag me too for using Huda Beauty, but I bought this before she got problematic, so don't yell at me. Um, <laughs> does it even have like the, what it is? Okay, so I'm gonna be using this palette. this color right here and I'm going to put it above my crease blend it out a little bit if you guys are wondering how I cracked my rib I fell off my bike the worst fear of my life like the reason why I don't play sports is because I don't want to Oh no, not the song. The song's so sad. Okay. So y'all get my juice. Um, I've been using the Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof one by Sephora. I bought it twice. It's not bad. It doesn't last long, like the tip, ow, <laughs> the tip, like it kind of gets all fucked up, so, yeah. I'm just gonna start, the first thing I do is draw my little line, so. I'll Like my tips really really like pointed really really small really really fine that's why I need like a nice sturdy tip 
Like honorable mentions are like the Tarte, I think it's Tarte, like the kitten eyeliner. That one was really nice. It's, I don't like pens because they run out quick. Let's fill her in. See how there's a difference? So if you fuck up on your tip, you can just take a cute tip. You know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. With false lashes and everything, you all won't even notice. So don't worry, okay? Um. Oh yeah. And then important part is you're gonna go back with the dark eyeshadow, and you're going to. Finish doing all this. Looks pretty good. Oh my god, here's the pretty. And 128 warm nude. I think that's a new color they have out. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this. Okay, so that looks okay to me. It's all right. It could be better could be more full coverage so far one's really good but I just don't have um I got kind of dark during the summer so I don't really have my shade uh, I want to try the YSL one the all hours ones I want to try that one I want to also try the peach one the Too Faced peach one I want to try that one it's hard doing the this area is my trouble area <laughs> that hurt why did I do that okay this area right here this is my good arm. This is my trouble area. Okay, so yeah, do you see my forehead? Even at, even like with primer. So I did my foundation with this one first, which is a little bit darker, a little, not darker, it, it is my skin color. Close, because I'm pretty dark. Now, Sephora, make no mistake, can, foundation and concealer stick it is so good I'm almost done so uh, what I do with this one I put it in the middle the center of my face like this just to brighten everything up you know my little problem area right here where nothing likes to stick and a bug what is that well it's probably just a fly I hope I get sponsored by Perrier because that's literally all I drink is Perrier. And you know what? It kind of sucks right now because like I like when you crack open a fresh Perrier and you drink it and then like you get that burp. But like I can't really drink it that much that like well because like if I burp it hurts. So I have to like, I don't know, I have to like let it fizz out and then drink it. Honestly, I usually... <laughs> I usually use my hands with this, but I know if I use my hands, y'all gonna be like, ew. Oh, what is she doing? So unsanitary using her hands. Bitch, you know what? Uh -huh. Can a beauty blender get this close? No, so I'm gonna do it. This eyebrow was really like, bitch. I'm just like whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, I don't know. 
gonna brighten her up. I'm gonna use banana like right here, and I'm gonna use this fair color right here. Because that's where you want it to be most fair. Here you're trying to gonna, you know, get rid of your bags in this little area here. But here is where you want Shazam. It's like the base for your highlighter. Just think of it like that. Because you want that area to be real, real bright. <laughs> People are always like, oh my god, don't go too much. Girl, let me live my life. If I want to contour all the way here, I'm going to do my thing, okay? Okay, my friend's coming soon, so i got to hurry up. So I'm thinking about getting airspun. I'm just going to set my... Oh, fuck! I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I was just gonna do my nose and then a little bit in here and I was supposed to do my highlighter. <gasps> I'm sad. Okay, cause this is what I was gonna do guys. Um, So the freaking highlighter that's so bomb is the Holographic Highlighter by Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics. It's so nice. It does like, because you have to put it on top of your foundation, it does get a little weird. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, like, you see how it does that? I don't know. That wasn't the best application. But you can take it with your fingers and just blend it out. So I got punched in the face before by someone who broke into my house. So I feel like ever since then, my nose hasn't been the same. And I want to get plastic surgery to fix it, but... Everyone's around me is like, oh no, your face looks the same. What do you mean? I'm like, bitch, I know my nose. Before I used to contour my nose, it would be snatched. People thought that I got plastic surgery. I'm going to, this is the only bronzer I use to contour. The shade and light is okay. Like it's too, I don't know, shade and light's weird to me. Like. I'll, I'll use shade and light if I really want to emphasize my contour, but like for, I don't know, it's not, it's okay. But I don't know, this color is just so, this is bronze goddess. I don't know, I just love, I love this. It's such a cool color, you know? And I hate anything that's warm. It's just ugh. So. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear tonight. Maybe a gown. Maybe just a ball gown. Something simple. I'm gonna use, I wanted to use these two highlighters and I wanted to see what you guys think. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Protect, Skin Perfection that I'm gonna use as my little like, um, like my highlight base. I use a, high, a liquid highlight and then I use a powder highlight on top. I feel like you guys probably like this one more. I don't know, but this one is just, I don't know, you guys will see, we'll see. Dark color that we used for the under eye and I'm going to marry it with the eyeliner. Okay, so that really makes it a little bit more cat eye-ish. Oh fuck, I always do that, I always miss my hand. I mean, I always miss the bottle and then hit my hand. Always happens to me. The glow kit. Honestly, this is, I didn't, I actually wasn't a fan. I, actually, I was actually going to give this away because I was like, this is like, all right, I guess. But as you can see, I hit pan on snow and white sand. But for some reason, snow turned blue. And when you put on your skin, it looks fucked up. I don't know what happened there. So I have to go like in this little area here. Sand is really good. Um, I actually started getting into sunray too. I don't really use amber gold because I don't. I stay away from pink colors. Hot sand's good too. I could use it on my body and stuff. But um, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna use white sand today. 
oh my god it's it get this thing gets so mad like literally guys i'm not that disgusting i don't know why it gets so messy like that but I feel like it doesn't look as good as I usually do it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, this is such a nice color. It's like blue. It's like blue and yellow. So yeah, I just use white on a little, 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 little bit of my cheeks. Guys, I legit kept this packaging just for you. This is the Ardell 3D Foam Ink in number 853. I get this from Sally's Beauty. Um, I feel like that's the only place. Like, you can go to Walmart to get lashes, but, like, I don't know. They're not dramatic enough for me. I'm going to use, I love this lip color. It is MAC Lip Liner in Nice and Spicy. Um... So yeah, this is usually what I use to lip line my lips. Guys, I'm peeling her. I'm becoming her. This is exotic. I love this one. I just have to like, okay, what am I looking like when I relax my lips? Oh yeah, my lashes, fuck. <laughs> okay, hopefully it's not too dry. So I don't even know which one's which, but let's just go for it. I don't put my lashes right on my lash line because like at the end, I do, I feel like I want that like real feline situation on, so I don't do that. So when that dries, I'm going to, I'm going to line the top again with liner. So this is my look. And I'm mean, honestly going to do my hair, but this is, I just wanted to focus on my mug. You know, I don't really do hair, so... This is from Wet n Wild. Just adds a little bit more oomph. 